In our last video on Apache Kafka, we learned how to write an Apache Kafka consumer in Java. And in this video, we are going to demonstrate how consumer rebalancing takes place within a consumer group in Apache Kafka. So if you have not subscribed to this channel already, now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button and let's quickly get started. Now the very first thing to note here is that I already have one consumer running here and now I am going to try to start multiple consumers to be able to demonstrate the concept of consumer rebalancing within a consumer group in Kafka. What if I run another consumer? All right, right now it does not allow me to run the same class in parallel. So uh, I'll cancel this and I'll have to change the run configuration just a bit. For that I need to head here and go into edit configurations and I think so I need to allow multiple instances. Let me apply this and let me click OK and now I am ready to launch one more consumer. Alright so we have two consumers running right now. This is the previous one and this is the new one. So if we head on over to the output of the earlier consumer, we can see that some logs have been generated here. So what are these? So this is what is known as a group rebalancing. Now in, in this consumer group, we have two consumers and they are reading from a Kafka topic which has three partitions. Now as soon as the new consumer joins this consumer group, the partitions are redivided or you can say rebalanced amongst all of the available consumers within this consumer group. So you can see that for the first consumer, we have revoked the previously assigned partitions, which were Java topic partition 1, 0 and 2. So previously, all three partitions of the topic Java topic were assigned to the first consumer. But after the rebalancing, this consumer has been assigned only one partition, which is the Java topic partition number two. Let us check the same thing with the new consumer. And if I scroll these logs a little bit, well, we can see that there is a new assignment of partition and this consumer has been assigned the partitions Java topic zero and Java topic one, which means partition number zero and partition number one from the topic Java topic. All right, so any records that are produced within the zeroth or the first partition will be consumed by this new consumer and any records produced in partition number two will be consumed by this consumer. So let me go ahead and run the producer class one more time. This time we, we will have a brand new set of keys for the producer class. So if I go ahead and run this, Let's keep an eye out on our consumers, what's going on with them. All right, so at this moment, we actually need to scroll back to the left for a minute and we can see that these messages which were written into partition number two have been consumed by the consumer which was assigned to be reading from the partition two of the Java topic topic. And the other consumer of ours, again, let's scroll to the left, uh, has been reading messages from partition number one as well as partition number zero. So what we'll do here is we will launch one more consumer and now each of our consumers will be consuming from one particular partition of the Java topic topic because uh, we had three partitions in that topic and now we have three consumers. So let us see, uh, whether the rebalancing has finished. So this consumer will consume from the second partition. This consumer will be consuming from the very first partition, which is partition number zero. And this consumer will be consuming from partition number one. All right, so let's launch our producer again. This time also we will have a new set of keys and uh, let's have more keys in quantity this time. So uh, 15 to 25 and let's run this program and let's try to see some output. Okay, so 
Okay, so we saw this brand new output on our consumers and this consumer has consumed a lot of records. Looks like a lot of records were produced into partition number two. Uh, only one record was produced into partition zero and two records were produced into partition number one. Also note that rebalancing will also take place if any one of these consumers goes down. So this consumer is reading from partition number one. Let's um, simply exit this particular consumer uh, and let's see what's going on with our other consumers okay so this one exited and has the okay so now we can see that rebalancing is being performed and again uh, this particular consumer has been assigned two partitions and this particular consumer has been assigned one partition so that is all we had to discuss in this short video. We learned how can we write an Apache Kafka consumer in Java as well as we learned about Apache Kafka consumer rebalancing in consumer groups and saw a practical demonstration of the same. So if you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates like always. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.